What is going on guys? Today we have got Vincent Company. I did not expect him to get a card. I thought they were going to probably go for more of the players that haven't received an upgrade yet. And yet Company, Tevez, Keebler, there's a lot that I already have, which is crazy. And even Future as well. But in terms of Company, he's now gone from an 88 to an 89 to now a 91. There is a double chance he goes into a 93, which would be phenomenal. And he's with Man City. The likely chance we're going to see a 92 Company. And with their score and tally, depending on who Man City have got they more than likely will score 11 goals. It seems to be the City way, so this is probably one of the best shouts. And let alone that, we have got two players for Man City as well. I don't know if they were meant to go with Man U, but Tevez is also for Man City as well. I've never seen them do two at the same time on the same team. I'd imagine that you'd have got like team one could have one and team two, but no, we've got two Man Cities. So if they if, if Man City do it, then both of them get a double upgrade. In terms of company as well, anticipate and intercept beautiful genuinely beautiful i said this card would be brilliant in end game tier we're already getting there if we could get a triple play style plus we're just going to keep going until we get five six play style pluses if we was to get something like a slide tackle next that genuinely could break the card anticipates the number one for a center back in my eyes and intercept is a very good cdm trait but it definitely transpires into a defender as well perfect 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 in terms of the upgrade from the 89 we're seeing a decent pace increase for just a double upgrade a four on that two on the defending three on the physical just a brilliant brilliant card i believe people are going to go either shadow or anchor that is fair enough we'll keep him the normal lengthy 93 pace 98 defending wow genuinely wow turns him into a 95 overall center back it's just perfect. 1.9 mil extinct, and I can imagine he will be extinct for a while. So let's jump into him and just bask in the company. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7 Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations, check the link in the description for cheap, reliable digital cards for you right now. Company, beautiful intercept and... I don't know why I didn't pass it straight away. I felt like I should have. Oh, and that's going to be... He's going to go across goal. Knew it every single time. Come on, Mr. Roy. Oh, good. Good assist from uh, Marquisio there. Company gets it under control again. And we're back up the field. It's that ball a mile off. So can Company. Intercept plus coming in. Massive hand there. Just over as well. Lovely block from Saliba. Company was there as the second round. No way this this guy... Oh, got very, very lucky. A little bit of lapse of defending twice in a row. What am I doing? Trying to just throw this game away, I think. Oh, and Company comes to save the day. Maybe that's what I knew. I knew that he was going to do that. Vinny's in the middle of them. Oh, I've over overstepped him. Oh, and he's gone for the challenge. It's not worked out. Your Sabio is there and he's he's absolutely sold me. That and, and that's where some of the best defenders still can get absolutely sold. If you as a defender just drag him anywhere, that is the price that you pay. Company's gotta find some finance Saliba. He's got him in the middle. We've done enough to kind of quell the danger a little bit, but he's gonna look for that pass back. That's why it's good having a good partnership. That that is why I've always said instead of going for like that just that one five mil one mil player and then kind of having somebody like fifty k next to him, which in arguments of centre backs works because of Gold Virgil, but any other centre any other partnership won't work like that. But in terms of normal, you want to have the best of the best. Oh, it's a good chip. I, I genuinely can never score chip shots unless they've got chip shot plus. company get it away honestly he's managing to just find that pocket oh okay calm down marquisio to t ah, i've gone for the heavy touch good intercept from company push the ball forward why don't you all the way over teo 
Little one. Nice. That's overstretched. That's why it's passing. Just isn't quite fullback standard. It's definitely centre back standard, but definitely not fullback. Good intercept from company. Good play back from Yaya Toure. And again with the intercept. And again with the pass away. Honestly, how many times can we do this in a game? Oh, pressure's on now. Eusebio has got that cutting mentality, hasn't he? He's looking for the pass back. There it is. Oh, Van Nistelrooy saved us. Company did well. He held on to Eusebio, but... There is very few people that can ever hold on to Eusebio without making that challenge. So going into the overall for company then. I realised half of my face was off of that, so we'll keep going. Company is coming in at extinct, which is pretty much like most of them because they are obviously upgradable. Pretty much half of the team. You've obviously got Lazarus who at 970, Keebler at eight, uh, 480, and then obviously uh, Roy Costa at 165, Marquisio is extinct, Valer, Tevez, Futra, and company. Now the question is, how does he compare to a Rio Ferdinand? There's no real point kind of putting him in the debate with Virgil, as I think Virgil is just a is, is a person in your team now. It has to be. When it comes to Maldini. I'd be interested to know if we do get a team two. So we have got intercept, anticipate, anticipate, slide, intercept, quick step. Three different play style pluses in the double format. And I must admit, I'm probably leaning towards more these two. I like the quick step on a center back, but it's not necessarily my go to. And I think company's got a big advantage purely on the fact that he is lengthy pure, so just fully lengthy. Rio technically can go mostly a normal lengthy with an anchor, which does mean he technically has less pace than what company would have. So you could argue the fact, and then the slide tackle plus, I feel like that will go down to a preference vote because I do think the intercept was good. I must admit I'm more of an intercept with a CDM, kind of hovering between the lines and then maybe having that slide tackle plus as a last ditch challenge would be good for company, but he does have anticipate, which should negate that sort of thing. With the shadow, he technically only has two more pace. So, I mean, it's not a massive difference between the two. So that is something you can always take into consideration as well. The fact that he is technically only 1.9 at the moment is going to be a big factor with Rio is the fact if you could snipe him at 1.9, he is going to be worth more coins than Rio at some point if they do get the upgrade as well. So you've got the arguments of if you can get him, whether you can snipe him is a totally different matter. I Honestly, I don't know if you even could. I can imagine every bot on the planet is going after Company and Tevez because they, they have definitely got the best chance out of anybody scoring them 11 goals. I can guarantee they probably win two of the next matches, but the 11 goals, that's going to take a different matter. Company is phenomenal, as we imagine, just perfect for a center back. The fact that he can go up to as well is even better. That's just going to add even more stats to him. We're going to be looking at potential 95 on that pace, potentially 99 defending and 92 physical, a bit more of a composure boost. It's, it's a perfect card. It genuinely is one of them top center back cards currently at the moment. The number one for me is obviously team of the year Virgil. I think there's no arguments there. We then look at someone like a Renard, uh, and uh, anticipate and also aerial very good player player and center back to not sleep on at all maldini yashin's still up there i think rio for me as well and i'd probably i, I like ruben diaz i think he's a fun a, 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 i want to say phenomenal again i keep saying it and i apologize but i want to say phenomenal for him other than that you're looking at more virgils Cannavaro isn't awful, but he definitely isn't in the conversation of a company and Yashin debate 100% of the time. The only person I think that can break through without a crazy, crazy upgrade is going to be somebody like Lucio. You could have Marquinhos, I suppose. If he got the full upgrade, that'd be. Anticipate power header. That's not terrible. Free star, free star, 91 composure. I mean, yeah, if he got the full upgrade, that's definitely not a bad card whatsoever. Because what it'd be ninety, it'd be ninety four with the the max. That that would be a really nice card. But he's got to get there as well. That's going to be the big question. In terms of company, even at ninety one, is still in that top one percent bracket. Incredible. Let me know down below your thoughts and if you managed to get him.